Welcome everybody to Dr. McDougall's uh, bi-monthly webinars. And uh, boy, we have a surprise and a wonderful webinar planned for you today. I'm Gustavo Tolosa, and um, uh, today we have a special guest. Dr. McDougall has uh, uh, some news to give you that are quite uh, amazing. And uh, we have a, a battle to win. So let's get started. How are you doing, Dr. McDougall? I have to say, probably today is one of the best days I've had. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I'm serious. If I have to look back at uh, particularly the last couple of years, I have to say that you know I'm on top of my game today and I'm excited about things today. But let me put it in perspective. The Consumer Electronics Show was, what, two weeks ago? Uh, that's where they get together with all their electronics and so on. I used to go uh, to that show uh, because we advertised a television show of our own, the Google MD and Lifestyle Magazine and as a result, well, we were at the Consumer Electronics Show, and I walked up to Larry King. You know who Larry King is. Uh, I walked up to Larry King, and he looked at me and says, hey, you're the guy from Hawaii that was on my show many times. I said, yes, and I would like to be on again, you know, if you ever have a show. And he said, you know, he said, you were way ahead of your time. I said, yeah, I was. Why did you have Fat Andy, Andrew Weil, on telling people how to lose weight by eating olive oil. Why did you have Robert Atkins on telling people to eat meat when you knew I was ahead of my time and I was right? That's what I told Larry King right there on the floor of the CES convention in Las Vegas. Yes, I did. Well, you know, folks, the reason I'm excited today is I'm no longer ahead of my time. That's right. I had to live to be 72 years old, but good grief. Uh, uh, the times have finally caught up with me. Let's go to the first slide, Gustavo. That's the one I want to see. Okay, C Canadian Dietary Guidelines of 2019 came out last week. Now, they purposefully, if you read about this, and it's really, it's all over the internet. If you read about this, you'll see that the authors purposely excluded the dairy and the meat industry from input other than the average, average citizen would have as an input to the guidelines. Excuse me, the dairy and meat industry, they've written the dietary guidelines for the U.S. for all these years and have had a huge influence on Canada. Well, Canada stepped out this week. They recommend diets and fruits make up half of your meal and choose protein from plants, not animals. Excuse me. Uh, there's a notable absence the dairy industry brought out of dairy products represented in their basic plate. And if you see the plate there on the left side of the screen, you see that dairy, there's no glass of milk, there's a glass of water. The amount of dairy products is, is hard to even find. Yeah, water should be your beverage, not milk, because it's poisonous. And uh, the dairy industry complained because their products were not represented in the new dietary guidelines. I mean, that really made me feel good. Canada, you're so far ahead of us. I mean, you told people, you told your women that uh, breast self-examination was wrong in the year 2001. You came out against mammographies. You came out against colonoscopies. Good grief, Canada's got something going for it. You know, we hear all these <laughs> criticisms about universal health care. Well, I have to say they care more about their citizens than they do in the U.S. Now, that made me happy. And I was going to talk to you about these dietary guidelines, but something happened yesterday, which was one January 23rd, 2019. This is a live show, folks. What happened yesterday, next slide, Gustavo, is The Lancet, one of my favorite medical journals. The Lancet Commission came out with the EAT guidelines. Excuse me. They came out with the dietary guidelines on January 24, 2019, and they said for our species to survive, in other words, we are going to vanish. For our species to survive, we must mostly eat vegetables, grains, and nuts and limit the consumption of red meat to one time a week. I know that's covered up for you. One serving a week of red meat. I mean, that's almost the victim of the McDougall program, except you know, I don't eat meat at all. 
but the average American eats 222 pounds of meat a year, meat and poultry. I mean, this is world changing, folks. I am no longer ahead of my time. It's time to be caught up. But we're just getting steamed up. I'm just getting excited. I'm just getting mad as hell. I'm ready to just give me a platform. You would think that the Lancet Commission or the Canadian Dietary Guidelines or the U.S. Dietary Guidelines or maybe some local physician here in Portland, Oregon or OHSU or somebody would say, hey, you know, we got to start talking the truth about diet because there's everything at risk. Our children, our grandchildren, in fact, one of the politicians that's running for the U.S. presidency in the year 220, one of our presidential candidates came out and said that global warming will take over this planet in 12 years. I'll still be alive and doing this webinar in 12 years. <laughs> so it's time to act now. And whatever you can do, do it. However, today's seminar is not about that. Well, not directly, but it's an, a problem as important to those who suffer from it as our next two guests, one of them said she, she was considering suicide. I mean, that's personal destruction. So this problem we're gonna talk about is as important as planetary destruction to the individual. I mean, for me, I'd like to introduce our guests. Uh, we have, do we, is Jeff with us, Jeff Nelson, my good friend? Hey, there he is. It's Dad. This is Dad. Dad and I have been friends for 35 years, and we're really good friends. Uh, you know, I may speak casually of people I know or associates or so on, but you know, identify very few people as my close friends. Uh, Jeff Nelson and I have had that uh, opportunity for about 35 years. Uh, and he has two daughters. They happen to be twins, and I still can't tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> they are Nina and Randa. Raise your hand, Nina. Hi. There we go. Okay. And Randa. Randa. And uh, I've known them for their whole life. And in fact, I, I got to meet uh, all the family about oh, 30 years ago when mom, I guess mom's out taking a break, but mom, uh, Sabrina, uh, was suffering from rel relapsing polychondritis. And her doctors told her she was dying. And she was going to lose her nose and her ears. And she, uh, her mom, her, or actually uh, Jeff's mom, told her about the McDougal plan and that she ought to read it. And she stuck it on the shelf for a few years and finally did read it and changed her diet about 30, 35 years ago when her disease completely disappeared, relapsing polychondritis. And that's how I was introduced to Jeff Nelson, Nina, and Randa in that order. Uh, that's how I got to meet them. And Willie, Willie, Willie's not here, but Willie also, Willie the brother, also yeah. had a case of acne when I met him, and uh, it all cleared up too, just like, well, anyway. Well, acne is what we're talking about. Acne is the subject. So would you, uh, who would like to start? Nina, Randa, Jeff? We can start. Us. Why you well, 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 first of all, let, let me start out by some of the things that I learned today. There's a YouTube up, which I would encourage you to go see. It is uh, done by Rip Up Esselstyn at a conference he gave. He's the host. And it's these two young women who give an absolutely outstanding, uh, breathtaking uh, uh, speech on their uh, trials and tribulations. Uh, and I was just going to watch two minutes of it this morning just to get a flavor. But I was tied to that YouTube video for a half an hour. And you should <laughs> amazing. You guys are, well, you should be your professional actresses. Tell us a little bit about some of the uh was it timberlake you met uh, uh, Tim uh justin uh, bieber justin bieber tell us about some of the the people that you rub elbows with as uh models <laughs> and actresses and uh, doing various television and uh, okay and television. so when we were about when we were about 16 years old is when we decided we wanted to start uh pursuing a career in entertainment and by the time, you know, we were getting some jobs. We, we were working, working with, with Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. 
we were working on different music videos, doing some modeling shoots and doing different films. Um, Commercials, so we met the Brian brothers who play tennis yes. with each other. So we were really excited and we're like, wow, like we're actually doing, we're living our dream. We're like pursuing our career. And then all of a sudden when the acne hit, it was like, we felt like we couldn't no longer tr like pursue a career in the entertainment business because we were so just self-conscious of our acne. And I remember when we went to American Idol, we got to meet the judges of American Idol, which yeah. is Harry Connick, Connick Jr., Jr., Jennifer Lopez, uh, Keith Urban, um, Ryan Seacrest. Right, Ryan Seacrest. And I remember like standing in there, Ryan Seacrest is interviewing us saying like, oh, are you guys so excited to go in there and meet the judges? And I'm just like, as he's like looking at us, I'm literally just thinking, he just must think we're such a joke. Because like, we had acne like all over our yeah. face, couldn't cover it up. And we Can you show us the Trigger Salvo? I mean, now is a good time to, to, to see what they're talking about. Nope, they're, they're, yeah, they're I mean, it was absolutely devastating. So this is, this is a picture of me, Nina, and this is actually, I took this photo because I changed to the low fat style of eating and took this photo because I was like, wow, it's so much better. This so is her skin this is like getting better. It was actually worse than this. And uh, so just, yeah, we when we were on American Idol, we just couldn't even think about how to perform we to sing we just were thinking about oh my god everyone's gonna see us on tv with this embarrassing acne and i think one of the things about acne is i don't think people who don't people who don't have acne don't realize how much it affects your personality or how much it affects your self-esteem and a lot of people just kind of rub it off like brush it off like oh don't worry you're all you'll outgrow it but it's like no, they treat it like it's normal and it's not. And normal. it's just like, no, like no one has to have acne covering their face and being be depressed about it. Um, but yeah, I remember on the plane ride home, we were just like, we just felt like failures. We're like, I, I don't, I don't feel we can't like do it anymore. We can't do this anymore. I don't, I don't want to sing. I don't want to go out on auditions. I remember like also when my acne was at its worst, I went into a casting office and the the casting director just kind of looked at me. Normally I have like a conversation and I'm super upbeat and I feel good um to book the job but the casting director kind of just looked at me and just like all right that's enough like and i really didn't even get to like do it multiple times and i just like remember walking walking out of the casting just like looking at my feet just like man i don't want to do this anymore like this this is just just shattering because you look at tv you look at commercials you look at television movies i mean you don't see people with face full of acne mm -hmm. like that you just don't and i remember like back when we were uh when we were doing a lot of commercials we would be on antibiotics and then when our skin was clear we'd go to a commercial we'd be like yay like we broke a commercial but then the acne would come back it's like wow we can't work anymore you know because eventually the antibiotics stopped working and our agency scary. when when I, when my acne was at its worst i actually had a meeting to meet my agent and pick different headshots and he saw you know i could you can't cover up skin no ma no amount of makeup is going to cover up acne like that and he was just like he was try he tried to be nice about it he's like okay well let me know when your skin clears up because he doesn't want to send us out when we have acne because it makes us look unprofessional. It makes them look unprofessional. So we were just, we couldn't work. And on top of that, because we were so embarrassed by this acne, we isolated ourselves even more because we didn't want our friends to see, we didn't want boys to see. It was just so embarrassing. It's literally every aspect of our life that gives you happiness was shut down. We didn't want to date, which is like, very important in your 20s. We didn't want to work. We didn't want to go to the gym. We didn't want to hang out with our friends. We didn't want to work. We just had nothing. We were just like stuck in the house, just depressed. And the crazy thing is, it's just such a simple fix. You don't need this acne. All right. So here you could get a job. You had uh, you had great opportunities with the uh, American Idol and uh, various other well-known celebrities. And uh, here as models, actresses, you couldn't get any work. Mm -hmm. uh, when did your revelation, when did your revelation, revelation come as to as to uh, what you ought to do about this? I mean, you tried right, okay. antibiotics. You were on antibiotics. Mm -hmm. uh, washed your face really good. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you were vegan. You ate a vegan diet. Yeah, we were like obsessive about this acne. We were like, we clean our pillowcases every day. We would, you know, go to the dermatologist, go to, the dermatologist, go to different facials, have them like pick at our face to like try squeeze and get out, squeeze out the acne, or maybe we weren't being hy hyper like hygienic enough. One lady even told us, oh, like your brother had acne, you caught it from him. Yeah, she like as if it was, it was like, like a we, disease. we lied on a pillow and like somehow caught this acne. So we had so many different theories that we were dealing with. And I remember we were, 
um, on our way up to. But before we tried this, we actually tried to do low carb. We read something right. online and we're like, okay, well, food, you know, does play a role in health. So let's try doing low carb. A lot of the information That's online awful. is like low carb and like doing that as a vegan or doing that as any human being is just like just rough and it, lasted, it didn't work we lasted like eight days and i just remember like bawling my eyes out i was yeah. so hungry it was horrible um so we were driving up to san francisco and we were talking about our acne that's literally all we could talk about and i remember my dad was like well why don't you see if dr john mcdougall has anything about acne on his website because you know diet is related to diseases and it, it, acne is inflammation so i was like okay like i'll, I'll look on his website and i was like oh he, he does have something on acne. He says there are cultures in the world that don't get acne and by eliminating even higher fat, plant, higher fat. plant fat foods that get rid of the oil and the, you know, avocado nuts that and soy and soy that you could get rid of acne. And we were like, that that's it. Like that seems, so it was like, it felt like a eureka moment. Like I remember the moment so well, just being like, okay, like, and do this. We, we remembered and thought back that when our parents went out of town to Hawaii, we got really, really sick. Mm -hmm. And all we were eating was peanut butter toast because our brother was making food for us mm -hmm. and our acne was just getting worse and worse. And we just thought, oh, it's because we're sick. And we went to the doctor mm -hmm. to to get to try to get infections. antibiotics to get better. And they were more concerned with our face mm -hmm. than than like our respiratory infections. And that's when it hit us like, oh, my gosh, I think this is a problem this is really bad. Yeah. And so, yeah, then we saw this. Article. And so I was like potatoes, like rice beans, like that's online. It's like says to avoid all those foods. If you have acne, I was like, great, I can eat these foods. Like I know exactly what to do. And it just right then and there, like within a few days, I was like, wow, it's for once in my life, it's not getting worse. So yeah. I was like, okay, I think it's working. And I remember within a month, the acne was significantly better. And I, I remember keep, I kept thinking, oh no, like when's it going to stop working? Cause that's what it always was with the antibiotics. Right. It's better and then it comes back. It gets better and now it comes back worse. And I was just like, wow, like, but it's continuing to get better. And it was really as simple as that. And then even a year later, actually, when we, we traveled to Europe, we switched face washes mm -hmm. because we just, we didn't have the right one. And Brandon started getting acne again. Yeah. And I was like, what's going on? And she's like, like I got to check out. I'm McDougal. eating perfectly. I don't know what is make, making me break out. So like, we went back to the so I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to McDougal's website. And I was like, he said, you said, uh, avoid oil in your skincare products. And I was like, it was another eureka moment of, oh my God, the information was right here. And then I cut the oil from my skincare and I and it's good cleared again. up again. Well, that's it. That's, uh, I think while I'm doing this next bit of discussion, to show another before and after picture would be worthwhile. We could stop if you could. Uh, I, I want you folks to see this article that I wrote in uh, November of 2003. Let's see, 2003, this is, uh, so let's see, you're, you're 20 years old. You were four years old then. We're 25 years old. So oh, you were 25, I thought you were 20. Okay, so you were, you were nine years old when I wrote this article. Yeah. Okay, it's called Acne Has Nothing to Do with Diet. Wrong. You can get it on my website. It's uh, it's uh, free. It's free on the website. It's yeah, November. that's the, the article. Yeah. 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 That's the article. That is the article. It started a little bit random. Implications of dairy products. This was uh, March 2011 uh, about the implications of dairy. And those are both on my website. Whoa, there you go. Uh, how dairy in itself changes the hormones in the body and uh, uh, promotes the acne uh, development. But it's the oil that you have to. Totally. Anyway, let me, let me get back to the point I wanted to make before we go on with uh, Rena. Oh, good. Mary's getting it now, so we know everything's running well. Uh, uh, before we get back to, to uh, Nina and Miranda, I, I'd like to tell you what their therapy and all the therapies that people are getting, men and women, boys and girls, are getting for acne all over the world are based on one flawed study. One, 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 one flawed study. It was published in JAMA in 1969. 1969, here it is right here, folks, you can look it up. Okay, one study. Will you go to the dermatologist tomorrow and ask the dermatologist about the study that causes them to tell every patient diet has nothing to do with acne? You ask them for the research, they will come up with one paper. This was by a guy named Fulton. He took 30 adolescents, and this study published by the Can Candy 
the Chocolate Manufacturers Association of America. They sponsored the study of 30 adolescents. That's it. What they did is they fed them two different diets. So it was a controlled uh, 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 study. You know, they had a controlled diet and they had an intervention diet. The control and intervention diet contained the same amount of fat. Well, I list the amount of fat. Same amount of calories, 557 versus 592. And uh, the subjects, anyways, they, it was the same amount of fat in the two diets. The only thing that changed is they added chocolate to one of the diets. That was the only variable. And they counted the pimples and they found that those who, uh, there was no difference whether you added the chocolate in the intervention group or you left the chocolate out in the control group. There was no difference, but they were the same high fat diets, the exact same diets. And then there are multiple studies uh, talking about populations. In fact, you brought those out very nicely in your YouTube video, uh, Nina and Randa, about uh, <clears throat> various populations around the world. I cite some in out of Africa. Uh, you cited uh, other populations, the Okinawans, uh, many populations around the world that still eat the McDougal diet, the starch-based diet, very low in fat, very low in animal products, which the whole population is acne free. I mean, think about it. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. You wear it under your skin and you get obese. You wear it on your skin where the bacteria eat the fat, clog the pores, give you sores, give you blackheads, give you whiteheads, give you enlarged pores. You look at people's skin, okay? And you'll find that some people have these great big huge pores in their skin. Well, that's because of the high fat diet, trying to get the fat out of the system. <laughs> yeah, and, and then of course you have the infection from the bacteria, which gives you the pustules, which is the acne that you saw so well on Nina and Randy's face. Randy's face. Uh, you know, it's it's so stupid simple. The fat you eat, the fat you wear. I mean, good grief, folks. Where do you think that fat goes? And, and, and I, I had my hairdresser. In fact, I, you know, I've recently had to change hairdressers. But both of them have noticed that people have different greasinesses of their hair, and they think it's genetic. And I said, no, it's what they eat. You know, your clients that you do, you know, the hair do's on, who eat high fat diets, have greasy hair. What do you expect? Anyway, I just want to put it in perspective that all the doctors that treated Branda and Nina and all the other acne patients worldwide are doing it based on a study where they fed two high fat diets to two groups of people sponsored by the chocolate industry, chocolate candy industry. One study, that's it on 30 people, and the only variable was the amount of chocolate, not the amount of fat, and they counted the pimples and they were the same, therefore diet has nothing to do with acne. Excuse me, back to, back to some sane people, let's talk to Reen. That's what you said, genetic loads the gun and diet pulls the trigger. You think of all the suffering that's going on. And uh, acne is, uh, you know, like I say, it's uh, to some people, like, you know, at times when you got really down, and some of the people you've talked to have gotten really down. Uh, when you think about suicide, that's you know individual destruction. But we're facing planetary destruction, folks. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I was just going to say that Nina and Randa ended up telling their story when they got this transformation. And really, just a few couple of months, mm -hmm. they went on their YouTube channel and uh, made a video about their experience, which attracted a lot of interest because there's a lot of people you know exactly. dealing with the same problem. And they began and they began getting, you know, at people asking how what tell us about the diet. And it was basically the McDougal diet with uh, no overt fats and kind of they customized it for their generation. It's maybe. like maximum weight loss version. Right. With fruit yeah. more, in, except I know in maximum weight loss, you can only have like two pieces of fruit, but it's basically the same. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, they didn't want to lose weight. So they took measures to mm -hmm. stop losing weight while doing the program. I did the program with them and I lost almost 30 pounds. I mean, I decided to do it for support and mm -hmm. I'm really happy that I did. Uh, that was some years ago. But uh, so, you know, they started sharing this information with videos and pretty soon getting feedback from people that, oh my goodness, sending their own before and yeah. after pictures, you know, it's working for me too. 
So that was a signal that this wasn't just a fluke, you know, that mm -hmm. this that the Okinawans, these different cultures are acne free, eating a starch based, very low fat diet or primarily plant based. And uh, so they had sort of like a study group in terms of all these people. Um, and then and then they decided to do a real study, mm -hmm. right, to see kind of with a have it medically supervised. We got Dr. Steve in. Lowenda from Kaiser to run a study and, you know, teach the teach all the health advice, why it works and how to do it right and how to lose weight if you want to or maintain your weight. He explained everything in in depth detail and we would meet every week and it kind of became like this acne support group, almost like, a, you know, a, a group where we could say how we were feeling like, oh, yeah, like I, I totally understand how you're feeling and, and like check in and like make sure they're doing they it like properly the as well. And we would just, you know, it, it was really fun because we became friends with a lot of these and people. And people lost weight. How much weight did the whole group lose? Do you remember that? Um, it was like I, I forget, but Steve, Steve tracked all of that. Steve Lewenda. Do you know Steve Lewenda? No, I don't. I was, he's yeah, at Kaiser. Oh. He, yeah, he's a physician down here in Kaiser and he runs a program called Life 180, which is sort of, you know, a McDougal program in, in Kaiser that's just increasing in popularity. But he kind of tracked everybody and we had Chef AJ was involved mm -hmm. and we yeah. had Darshana, the, you know, from Forks, over, Forks knives. over Knives. We had some great people who came in and, you know, helped give instruction and inspirational talks. And like they said, it was sort of like a, a support group where at the end, every Tuesday night, we met in a room over at a church nearby. And, um, People which you know wouldn't Stay leave. Really they, they sit They're together, like, guys, we, we, talking we can't about be here acne. Anymore. We gotta leave. Yeah, we were out of this room at nine o'clock, guys. We gotta go. Yeah. So they moved to the parking lot. So there was a whole. It was like the first acne support group yeah. maybe out there, which is another interesting feature. And what was cool is we had a Facebook group later, and they we, opened these same it to, people that also oh. cured their acne. We opened it. You know, we had people submit to be in this Facebook group, and then so it people became from all over the world, like Brazil. Yeah. It became, and then we would do online webinars. Uh, which you took part in, John, yeah, and a lot of people. Yeah, people online, so it reached even more people. And what was really cool is seeing the people from the first acne intervention help group the new help the new people. They were sort of co coaching, and plus, yeah. you know, and through this, we were submitting their before and after shots, and, and you know, Dr. Lawenda was documenting based, mainly on photographs based on the uh, Internet. And it's one. really cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the improvement that yeah. many people were having, some very quickly, some taking more time. Yeah, yeah. Gustavo well, had some of those pictures, but I don't know. Go ahead. And what's also really cool is when new people join who are just starting the diet, like, oh, I'm, I'm concerned, like, this isn't going to work for me, or I'm just really scared to try this. You know, they're like, but then other people you know, give them, but then other people are like, oh, just keep at it. Like, yeah, so this and is they Ashley. See other people's pictures. This is Ashley, who actually wrote to you, John, and sent you these pictures and copied Nina and Randa at the time. And she oh. had actually, she had dropped out of college because her acne, yeah. you know, was so. I mean, this picture, her out. This picture and, doesn't do it justice. Yeah, it's a little pixelated, but but basically, you know, within a month or so, she had dramatically lessened her acne. Well, and it's crazy because some people might be like, oh, that's so dramatic. You dropped out of college. I see that and I'm like, I, I get it. Like, it's it's not just psychologically painful. It's actually physically painful, too. Yeah. You can feel it 24-7. Oh, it's not a big deal. It's like, yes, it is. It hurts. It hurts my, my soul and it literally hurts. So, yeah. Well, you know, you, you've, you've had a chance to deal with dozens, if not hundreds of people. Uh, how often do you find the dietary approach when people do it fails? On, on the acne, uh, does it work? I think the I thing is, if someone it, writes know, here's to what us. I would, here's what I would okay. say. John, you were asking for L, and I don't know if Gustavo can bring up the photograph of L. Um, it took her a little Someone longer. who was very severe acne, you'll see on the before, and then it resolved. And L was somebody who you know, had very severe acne and didn't have much progress probably for four Six months. Six months or something. And she then started tweaking. And, you know, we, we have like an elimination diet for really stubborn cases. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it seems like the success rate is there for people who put in the time yeah, and, yeah. and work through it. And Elle is a great example because it took her six months, but she stuck with it. You know, she, she yeah. stayed with it and she sort of just had a faith that, hey, I've got really bad acne, so it's going to take more time. Yeah. You know, what, we, what's the drug that Accutane, everybody, that's what I was gonna Accutane say. Accutane takes four months yeah. for many people before it actually begins to affect and bring down the inflammation. So, so and even think, when we were started clearing our skin, 
we would still get occasional zits. It was just smaller and smaller and smaller. It was so like a bit of a process. It wasn't like an overnight thing. So um, if, if it doesn't clear up for someone, oh, in uh, four weeks, I'm still getting some zits. It's like, yeah, well, as long as it's less, just like you mm -hmm. said, Accutane takes like four to six months to start seeing results. So just stick with it. I think a lot of people are kind of, focused on, oh, I want the quick fix. If it's not working by tomorrow, oh, it's not working. Like cream. But when you think about it, when you go to the gym, when you're working out, when you're training for a marathon, uh, you don't, you don't just go to the gym for like one a time. week or one time and expect to be in perfect shape. No, like things take time. And that's what we tell our people like, okay, just like chill, you know, it's going to work. Just give it time. And a lot of people who do write, oh, it's been like, like four weeks and I still have some acne. We're like, okay, well, we always ask them like, what's your skincare? Like, what is everything you eat in a day? And then we can like find what they're doing wrong or just say, give it time. And then like they do, there was someone who like was constantly writing to me every week. Like it's, you know, my skin is still breaking out. And then it's like, well, I was like, just keep doing it. Keep at it. And then six months it's, it's clear. It's like some people just need to have faith and give it time. One of the problems I think is that there are people who get cleared very fast or some yeah. people who like with dramatically like Nina and Randa, they didn't have acne for very long, you know, only for like seven or eight months mm -hmm. did they have really bad acne before they discovered this information. So they didn't have a lot of scarring. They didn't mm -hmm. have a lot, but other people maybe for years have been suffering pretty mm -hmm. severe acne. And so they're, it, it's not going to, you know, it's like turning around a big ship or something. It's, it's a slow process. But as I say, there's some people who come in and look, you know, in three weeks, I'm all clear. I can't believe it. And that actually kind of depresses some other yeah. people that are taking longer. It's like, wow, look at her. She's done in three weeks. But, but you know, stay the course is kind of the message yeah. because that's like that picture of Elle, you will see. Um, she's somebody who could have bailed after three or four months and say, hey, this just isn't working. But she was you know, convinced and determined mm -hmm. to really give it a shot. And she got amazing, amazing results. And what is cool is because now that the group, our Facebook acne intervention group is pretty big now that there have been people who've cleared their acne that are still in the group and other people will come in, oh, it's only been a few weeks, it's not working. And then other people come in and say, don't worry, just give it time. And right. That's, that's and even people who are in the book, some of them are in the group whose pictures are in the book and they'll come in and say, hey, that's me on page, you know, 236 and let me tell you it took me you know three and a half months to get there so stick with it so there's a lot of support and inspiration going on inside the facebook group for the clear skin diet well mentioning the book which has become a national bestseller and uh gustavo will put up an image of uh, your new book i had the privilege to write the forward to this book and i want to thank you very much uh i would like to more directly answer the question that i ask you mm -hmm. and that is how often does it fail and right. the answer, um, never. <laughs> never. I mean, you just have to get low enough in fat. Yeah. Uh, you know, if people will, if, uh, you know, go on a very basic diet, say Mary's mini diet or the Kempner diet or, you know, take our diet seriously. You know, we recommend against nuts, seeds and avocados, uh, except as delicacies. Then it's 100%. Uh, we run 10-day programs, 10-day live-in programs. In fact, we start one tomorrow. January 26th, I believe, 25th, 26th. Anyway, 2019. We start one tomorrow with uh, almost 60 people in it. And I will tell you, I will be there, by the way. Mary and I will be at the program. Uh, when I see patients, I find that without exception, within four days, the oiliness on their skin has started to clear up. Yep, it's that quick. Right, right. And, and you see, it, it, unless they're cheating, and, and one of the things you didn't mention, Nina and Randa, because, you know, you're nice, and you're not young, and you're naive. But Walter Kepner said it well. He said all dieters are liars. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that, actually. Yeah, not in those say, words, but. A, a lot of the failures are misunderstandings on people's parts. Yes. Uh, either they didn't hear it right from you, or they themselves are not interpreting it because we like to hear good news about our bad habits and it's hard to change. Yeah. So don't, don't feel like it didn't work this time. Uh, they just didn't do it or understand it because it works a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Uh, Actually we had someone who, when we were, you know, trying to get people enrolled in our first group, someone was like, Oh, I've tried that diet. And I was like, uh, and she had really severe acne. I was like, huh, I, I don't, I don't believe that. And then, you know, we get to know her and it's like, she's like, I, I have veggie grill. I have veggie grill. I have like, you know, stuff like fries with oil. I'm like, you're, you're not like, doing the diet at all. Like, 
So I found that to be true that when people comment like it's not working, I'm like, okay, well, let's find out what you're like, eating. What are you eating? What's your skincare? What are you doing? And then lo and behold, there's like an error, and it's like, well, there now you're in the clear, and it'll work. It is so basic: the fat you eat, the fat you wear, and the fat you put um, in your mouth has to go someplace. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you stop eating the oils and fats, and this means nuts and seeds and avocados and olive oil, good fats, bad fats, you know miracle coconut oil, whatever. Bacteria love to eat it and it ends up on your skin. And when you stop eating the oils, your skin dries out, your acne clears up, but it takes some time. Uh, in about four days, the oil is gone from the skin. It may take a month or sometimes four or six months. And you know, then again, there are a lot of people who are providing some extra fat from their cosmetics, as you mentioned, oils on their skin. And there are there may be a problem with people losing weight and that providing extra fat that goes on the skin. So that may be one of the reasons that there's a delay, say of four to six months for, before complete clearing occurs, because at the same time, they're producing body fat from the fat that they've been eating for the last 30 years mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> from their own body fat. So I, I, you know, I find that in about a month, most people are thoroughly convinced that their acne is under control. Yeah, yeah. Make it four or six months to you know clear up the scars and the redness and yes. And, uh, but it, it happens very fast and it's a hundred percent and it's based on more than one study published by Fulton in 1969 in the Journal of the American Medical Association where the only variable was having chocolate. It was still the same high fat diet. You ought to, you ought to go to your doctor with this study, your dermatologist. Throw it on his or her desk and say, "You owe me ten thousand dollars for the summer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolute ridiculous that you, as a doctor, know nothing about diet disease. Yeah, I That's remember we, we went in so often because of our acne, and then one time we went back in for I don't know, maybe we wanted a moisturizer, moisturizer. or just something simple, and they were like, "Whoa, like how did you clear up your skin?" And we're like, "Oh, it was the diet." They were like, "Oh, interesting." Like they had no idea. They, they hadn't like, seen. It was, it, was like your, it was like your mom, you know, 30 years ago when we first started working together with her relapsing polychondritis. She went back to the doctor and the doctors didn't really believe her, as I remember. And he said, but whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And she has yeah. for 30 years and uh, no right. more. No more. Uh, I mean, this is a disease that kills, much less takes your nose away, your ears away, and your cartilage all of your body away. Mm -hmm. uh, the so, scary thing so, about acne is that... You know, Oh, sorry. I was going to say the scary thing about ac people who get acne is they're much at a higher risk of getting cancer yep. later in life. So it's like this acne was a big blessing of like, hey, something's wrong. Your body's signaling. You need to make a change. So. You know what's funny, too, is I, I feel like all the time, like older women will come up to me and say, you're not going to look like that forever. Like, like I don't know why, but like 40, 50 year old women always feel the need every week to tell me you're, you're not going to look like that forever. And, and in my head, I'm like, you're wrong. <laughs> You're absolutely wrong. Well, let, me, let me show you a 73 year old woman who looks like that forever. <laughs> I can get her to come in the room. <laughs> what do you think, Mary? Let me see it. So she, we're, you know, I mean, look at that. <laughs> 73 years old. And I'm sorry, folks, but she's gorgeous. Aww. Uh, no large pores, no pimples, uh, <laughs> really very few wrinkles. 73 years old. And it has been through a tough year, just like I have the past mm -hmm. year. Almost. Oh, glad to see you guys doing so much better now. Yeah, we're doing really well. And, I, yeah. and I'm and i still just as in love as I was 46 years ago. <laughs> oh, goals. Oh, cool. Anyway, thank you, beautiful girl. Oh, you're welcome, honey. It'd be like Al Gore and his kiss that lost the election. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shoot. Anyway, okay, so you have this uh, Facebook group that people can join. Yes? Uh, oh, yes, we do. Clear Skin Diet. Clear Facebook. Skin Diet. And we, we showed the book, the Clear Skin Diet book, which you can get on Amazon or any bookstore can order it for you. Yep. And it's a good read, great read, and uh, it will help you a lot. Uh, and uh, are you back to work? Anybody hiring you? We, bet, we did a music video, I think, oh, yeah. for a few weeks a, ago. Another girl on American Idol. We played one Poppy. girl. Yeah, we played the same girl. It was like kind of like a special effects thing. Yeah, so, yeah we're still auditioning, still getting out there, still making videos, still, making videos, still doing everything. 
Good, good, good. Dating, uh, you know, that's important too. Well, she just had a breakup a month ago. Yeah, that's okay. That's not because of her acne. <laughs> well, 25 years old seems awful young to me now, but that's about the age when Mary and I met. Oh, yeah. So, it yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. It's all, all I can tell you is it goes fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking about dating, how about a question for you girls? Uh, someone was, uh, someone here wrote a question that says, how do you go out to eat and stay on diet while dating? Ah, okay. okay. That's a good one. Do you want me to answer? Can I answer? I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For me, when I, when I just meet someone, I'll be like, you know, I don't just go, come out and say like, Hey, like I'm vegan. Like, you know, try to be kind of like in someone's face. Cause I'm, that's not my style. Um, but I do say like, yeah, I actually have, to, I used to have really bad acne. Here's a photo. So I eat this like specific diet and they're like, wow, like you can't well, tell it all. You can't tell it all. You have amazing skin. That makes total sense. You know, they totally respect it or, oh yeah, I had acne in high school and I took Accutane. That's amazing that you figured, you know, out, a figured out a way through diet. So then they have some automatic respect. And then, you know, if, and if they don't, then buy, <laughs> if they don't see it, but the guys generally like, okay, like, let's go to a, you know, does this restaurant work for you? And then there's always something you can order like a potato or rice or beans. And if a guy gives you a hard time about it next, but also, what we, so, so what we like to do is if we know that there's maybe not going to be like a lot of options for us, we'll like eat a snack before, eat a little yeah. bit before, and then order something small, like a salad or steamed rice or steamed vegetables. Like there's, there's always something really. Yeah. Honestly, LA dating though, most people aren't trying to like take you out to a meal just because <laughs> People just aren't trying to put in that kind of effort. Um, but honestly, the guys that do, they if they like me enough, they don't they don't care. Like, you know, wow, well this is this girl looks beautiful. I can't really criticize her diet. Yeah, but what do you order when you go out? Yeah, just like rice, beans. There's always some sort of steamed options. Yeah. Something simple. Steamed vegetables. And how about how about you, Nina? Do you have do you have any particular problems with dating? Uh, not because of my food. <laughs> it's my personality, I guess. No, I'm no. kidding. Uh, their maturity. I can tell you uh, just a little on the shallow side. I'm on the shallow side? No, shy side. Shy side. Shy. Oh, no. oh, on the shy She's side? No, shy. I'm actually, I'm not shy at all. I'm shy. Brandon's just doing a lot of the oh, talking. Well, that sure didn't come across. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, she's actually, people think she's the shyer one. I, I just like a I'm like shy when it more shy when it comes to like guys or like maybe people my age, but Nina's I'm not. not that way. But maybe oh, like okay. older, I don't know. I, I feel know. like the, the guys that I gravitate towards as well, uh, I like guys that care about the environment and like sustainability. So when they hear that I eat a certain way, it's like we Oh that makes sense. Oh that makes sense. I'm into that too. And I don't know, they just like it. So that's the kind of well, guy I like. I don't have a problem. Well, I don't want to get too personal, but have you ever told any of the guys that they stink? Uh, okay. <laughs> like meat and dairy. That's uh, funny. Yeah. You know, actually, like, uh, some of the guys, you know, actually, I haven't dated that many guys, but, like, a friend who's a guy, I have been, like, you know, you need a shower. Like, and it was, I could tell, like, it was from the meat. And when he did cut back on the meat and dairy, he did smell a lot less. Actually, yeah, one guy that I dated, he was doing, like, keto, like, heart, like, like meat, no sugar, this and that. And uh, we, I was hanging out with him and we had a friend and she brought up like, but what about like the smell, the smell you get, like when you eat keto and he, you could tell he was like really insecure because that's one of his things. Like he does have a smell. smell problem. Yeah. I never pointed it out to him. I pointed it out to Nina. But but she like, pointed out to me. I didn't care because I loved him, but it's fine. Uh, well, the keto diet is the extreme, but you know, the average American stinks. Yeah. Uh, they just don't realize it because everybody around them stinks the same way. <laughs> you know, and that, that's the truth. I mean, it, it's just, it's just. I always, I always get of, told that I smell really good. Yeah. So. People tell me that I smell really good. And actually, yeah, yes. someone I have dated, I'd be like, oh, like your hair smells like fast food. I mean, I, I want to know who that is. Would gross, it would gross me out. Who is that? Yeah. I'm not going to say here. Well, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret, even though you're only 25, is that uh, through your olfactory lobes, by smell is how you fall in love. And yeah. You're, you're sexually motivated. It's odor, not sight. So <laughs> it's real important that you smell good. And yeah. When you're, eating, when, you're eating, when you're eating animal foods and dairy, you stink. You smell <laughs> like what you eat. Uh, <laughs> You know, there's another attractiveness issue, but the acne, of course, is, I mean, they can see a mile away. Yeah. Uh, other, questions, other questions you might have uh, for, uh, for our esteemed guests. 
to stop. Oh, well, I, to so, uh, I know somebody, I thought it was funny. Someone said, does all this talk bother dad about dating? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too, you know, uh, but they're 25 years old, Jeff. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't think it bothers. I, it doesn't. It bothers okay. our brother. Yeah. Our brother is like, I can't say we can't say anything about dating to him because he will just be very angry. No, no, no. We've we've got some. They brought some great guys around who I like by and large. Oh. Yeah. Well, that well, that's good. That's. Uh... This question, Doctor McDougall, might be for you. I mean, or the girls. I don't know. But someone uh, says, should I eat nuts even though they have. Uh, they're they're high in fat to get my period. No, okay. oh, <laughs> get your period. You don't need that to get your period. We'll let John answer. Well, I, are, you, are you still getting your periods? Yeah, oh, yeah, regular on the dot. No, uh, if you if you are uh, severely restricted in calories, in other words, yeah. you're starving, then your periods will stop. It's just a natural selection type thing. If there's not enough food, then the body will not reproduce. It's just it's just a survival mechanism. It happened during World War II in the prisoner of war camps in uh, in Germany. The women didn't menstruate because they were starving. Uh, so that's the only way, way reason that uh, you have any interference with menstruation. But I do want to uh, focus on that nut thing uh, because that's where uh, Rand and Nina got into trouble. They were vegans, uh, strict vegans, and the same thing with uh, Jeff Nelson. He was a strict vegan. But he told you he lost 30 pounds. Uh, the problem with being a vegan is that it's really easy to be a, uh, a sick food. vegan, a fat yeah. vegan. Uh, uh, a vegan that lives on nuts, seeds, avocados, olives, olive oil, corn oil, fish oil, well, not fish oil, but uh, black seed oil and so on. And, and these oils are poisonous uh, in the form of nuts and seeds and avocados. They're, they're not unhealthy, but they're still 90% fat. And that fat, the fat that you eat is the fat you wear. And so, you know, that's why if the vegan gets into trouble of being overweight, which at least half of them are, and suffering from acne problems like, uh, like Nina and Randy had. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, who's, you know, a marvelously handsome father, uh, <laughs> he, he looks tremendously younger and healthier and stronger now, 30 pounds later. So would you comment on the, what I just said about nuts and seeds and and uh, and uh, uh, vegan cream pie? I think a lot of people think you need nuts and seeds, especially to grow your hair long. And we're like, which guys, is not true. that's not a problem for us. We have very I, long yeah. Hair. When people say, oh, like, what about your periods? This and that. We just say, oh, if you're eating enough, you won't have a problem. Yeah. yeah. Can you put uh, Nina and Brandon's uh, before and after pictures up again for us, Gustavo? Uh, and uh, you've made a lot of friends along the way. Yeah. Uh, have you had any any backlash from the medical profession or anybody? I mean, after all, you've written a book that contradicts virtually 100% of dermatologists. 100% of those SOBs, and whatever that stands for, male or female, 100% of dermatologists are giving misinformation Oh, yes. maybe it's yeah. zero one percent. I'm wrong about. Are giving misinformation based upon one study published in 1969 that changed the amount of chocolate, not fat, in the diet. These these men and women ought to go to jail. Mm -hmm. Did I say that? <laughs> I mean, people who steal your money and hurt you ought to go to jail, don't you think? Yeah. Don't let me be a general. <laughs> Um, what do you think? Do you have dermatologists? I don't, think, we, I don't think we've had any backlash. I think we've had no. more of like a people interested in, oh, okay. You know, I think people are more open at this point, right? Yeah. I mean, they've had dermatologists who have come up to them after yeah. a talk that they've given yeah. who've said, I want to, to carry your book. I want to advise this to my patients. And so they're, they're people, you know, they're just, the reason they don't promote it is because they don't know about it. Yeah, no one explained aware. it to them. No one ever showed them pictures. No no one ever, you know, sh they weren't aware that somebody tracked 127 people with acne and look what happened to 
the vast majority. But of if them everyone do. cured their acne, they'd run out of business. So maybe yeah, that's not, sure maybe that's, that's why they're not taught it. That's like I'm the just saying there, you have met dermatologists who are advising theirs and who are yeah. you know suggesting it for patients, and uh, because you know they they found out about it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's but funny. Jeff, I was at it. Jeff, I want to point out ignorance is not an excuse. I mean, if you get in a drunk driving accident and you say you didn't know alcohol would make you drunk and get in an accident, that doesn't yeah. hold up in court. Uh, true, these true. men and women spent these women, men and women spent eight years learning about the human body, yeah. and they learned nothing about diet. Yeah, it's crazy. Nothing. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, they all let me let me um, introduce no. one question for you, um, Nina and Randa. And with this, Dr. McDougall, I think we will need to be closing pretty soon. But uh, uh, our guests are here to go see King Tut. Yeah. Uh, um, um, we're going to go off after, after a McDougal lunch, low fat, no acting producing lunch. Exactly. <laughs> so someone is writing here in the chat that um, they have been doing this, uh, you know, form of eating for four months and got improvements with acne, but then hit a wall. Is there anything else I can try? Okay, okay. Well, I would ask them, does their shampoo and conditioner have oils? Does their skincare, does their makeup, does their face wipes? All that has to be oil-free. Anything you put on your face. I would also ask them, I'd be curious as to what they were eating. Um, you know, in, in a day, there are some people who, if they have s severe enough acne by eliminating even oats, because that is a higher fat food, that, that could put them over the edge of clearing up their skin. And then once it's all the way clear, um, they can reintroduce back oats. So, or even like you you could, uh, like do they eat gluten? Not that, you know, because yeah. gluten can be a cause for some people and for a lot of people it's fine, but do they eat gluten? I would ask them like exactly what they're eating. Yeah. Well, and I would suggest they go to your website where there's the link to the Facebook group. Yeah. Go to clearskindiet.com and then go in and enter the Facebook group and ask that question yeah. because yeah. people do from time to time. And there's a number of different strategies that they can try, like you're saying they can tighten up their diet. Yeah. What is it? Somebody got rid of chickpeas and oatmeal. Yeah, which so I'm fine with. They lowered their fat intake from, let's say, Even you know, 10% down to Okinawan level, you know, 7% or something. And that did the trick. They mm -hmm. suddenly started clearing. So, you know, we've got the elimination diet. There's all kinds of strategies and people talking about things that they did to get results. So probably the, that would be my number one recommendation is go into the group and yeah talk about what's happening to you and you'll get, you know, 40 comments from people giving you suggestions. And we want to know like, exactly what you're eating in a day because that could then help us, you know, direct Sometimes, you. yeah, sometimes there's a misunderstanding. That's so Just true. Food. You have to know, even if they have a crumb of something, I mean, you have to know exactly what they're eating. That's Yeah, because even some people like having like a teaspoon of chia seeds or whatever a day like that's enough to one make someone overweight who has a problem and two to uh you know give acne so even like a little bit of, of, a, of an amount really makes a difference uh, oh, the okay. other thing i want to point out is that you know some of the people that you're dealing with are preparing foods for their family members and yeah. so in the process of getting the pork chips out they get grease on hand some work as auto mechanics you know and they work in the greasy environments uh you, know, you can get oil in all kinds of places that um, mm -hmm. will, will cause acne. But mm -hmm. the main source, of course, is three, four, five meals a day that people eat. Totally, yeah. Well, let me remind you uh, about the book. Can we put up the picture again for the book, uh, Pablo? You, you want to get this. This is a worthwhile read, to say the least. Oh, you got it right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, also, how do we get the Facebook connection? Um, um, how do we connect them, Dad? I mean, okay. probably the easiest way is to go to the website Clear Skin Diet, and right on the top it says Facebook Group. So you just click, and that will take you right into there, and you just you know apply, and you get accepted like within 15 minutes or something like that. And then you're inside the group, post your questions, and you know talk to other people who are doing the program. Okay, and you can always go to my website at drmcdougall.com and read an article I wrote when Nina and Randa were nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> what got all this started? Basically everything they have in their book, I mean, this foundation of what they have in their book, I, yep. you know, it's been around forever. Yeah. 
Well, folks, I want to thank you very much. Were there any other things you wanted to add for uh, people to know so they could get some extra help? Uh, of, uh, I think the takeaway is to just give it time and stick, stick with, with it. it. And yeah. do it 100%. Do it 100%. Yeah. And there are people who do it 100% and they clear and then they play with it and yep. they go back and they tell us, you know, their inflammation went down, their skin cleared. They decided to have some avocado have some avocado, and they didn't break out. Someone else, they have some avocado. Ah, oh, you know, it's all back. But everybody's a little different. And somehow when people get their inflammation down yeah. significantly, suddenly their body, body maybe can, some people can tolerate mm -hmm. these foods again. And so it's an individual thing. You know, people do sometimes decide to reintroduce. I don't miss the fat. <laughs> Nina and Randa, no. They're just like, they don't want to no. chance it at all. <laughs> all right, well, so you, one of the things you have noticed uh, during this conversation is that, that these folks are not out to sell you anything. Not any supplements, not even a book. You can go to their website and you know get up to the information. Yeah. Same thing with uh, Dr. McDougall at drmcdougall.com. Well, that's my email address. And our website, drmcdougall.com. Everything's free. Uh, this article, the articles I told you about that I wrote many years ago, 1969. Oh, that was, that was a study, 1969. And, and the diet, everything is free on the website. Or, you know, if you'd like a little extra help, well, we run 10 day programs. We start one tomorrow, which is the 26th, I believe, of January, 2019. We run uh, several programs every year, like six or eight. And we're on weekends. We have a weekend coming up in March. Uh, three-day weekend, the most inexpensive, cost-effective thing that you can do. And you'll yeah. find those all at drmcdougall.com. So if you would like a little extra help, it's all there with uh, Nina and Rand, uh, Randa's uh, book and Facebook and website and on my website. It's all there for free. But uh, sometimes it's easier to learn. Always it's easier to learn if you've got leaders, mentors, speakers, examples of the food which we feed you during the weekends and the 10-day programs uh that makes the change a lot easier so thank you folks very much thank you Thanks, for having us. Yeah. And you say hi to willie that's our well. brother and yeah. it, it was interesting willie willie came to one of our programs to have help oh, yeah. jeff film it and he came with uh, some acne and it was mentioned there and guess what happened to willie's skin in 10 days, his, his acne cleared up by the end of staying with Dr. McDougall's <laughs> event, you know, documenting it, filming it, and eating the food. He didn't have to do anything. He loved the food. His acne went away. Oh, so the food's amazing. That, that proved it up for Willie. That proved it for Willie. It always yeah. works, folks. I mean, the diet is so fundamental. It's, it's as uh, fundamental as a smoker who quits smoking, stops coughing, a drunk who stops drinking, stops falling down. It's the yep. same thing with the food. You stop eating the food, you'll stop eating sick. The rich American diet. And so says the Lancet Eat Commission. And so says the Canadian Dietetic Association. Sure. I'm no longer ahead of my time. I'm getting old, Jeff. <laughs> we knew it would happen. We knew the world would catch up one day. Yeah, well, it's good for me to see. And I really mean that. I, You've known me for 30, 30 years, and you know that I... No, I've been a bit discouraged. Are you finally, in there? Finally, finally, the world is uh, uh, is in agreement. There's no hashtag. Hashtag winning, John. Good <laughs> job, you're winning. Gustavo Tolosa, my good friend. I want to thank you for making this webinar possible, and I want to thank the Nelsons for uh, not only their experience, not only their time with us today, but their effort to help people worldwide out of the goodness of their heart, they're not selling anything. They just want to help. Thank you very much. It's Dr. John McDougall. We'll be back with you in two weeks with another amazing guest. Yes, Yay. we will. Thanks, John. Thanks, Gustavo. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye-bye.